I guess perhaps my best answer would be servant. If the co-op is not helping its patrons, there's no need for the co-op to exist. My name is Mark Heggie. I live in Petersburg, Texas, have all my life except for four years at Texas A&M, which I'm very proud of. This will be my 38th crop. I started like a lot of farm kids and uh, started farming with my dad. Me and my wife Cheryl have been married for 37 years and have three children. There's a lot of good things about farming. The dust storms aren't one of them, but, but there's a, a lot of it. I like the fact that my six grandkids can come home and, and they can ride around and look at Pop's tractors and combines and things like that. I like the fact that, uh, that I can work all year beside my son. You know, uh, certainly farmers first ought to serve one another and, and help each other. And, and uh, when you talk about neighborly and farming, that's, that goes back lots of generations. And I think that farmers are important in their small rural communities that, that we have. And, and goodness knows that there's not as many as there used to be. Serving one another and, and serving our communities, uh, goodness gracious, uh, school boards that, that, that we've served on uh, have been made up of many farmers and I think a farmer is, uh, is good at giving back and, and hopefully that's, uh, that's the goal of, of all of us. I know that there's been a lot of outstanding men lead these regionals and, and develop these regionals, but as, as you talk about the men that lead PCCA, Farmers Compress, PICO, I think servant leader would be a good way to describe each of those gentlemen that, that are in that possession right now. The three gentlemen that are, are presidents of these regionals are just outstanding men that look for the good of the co-op uh, that they serve and, and also for just the co-ops in general. And we farmers are, are luckier probably than we know to have these gentlemen leading at this time. I guess the mark of a good man and the mark of a, a good farmer is leaving something in better shape after you leave than, than, you, than it was when you found it. And that's certainly our goal. And, and I think if you interview farmers all across West Texas, that would be their goal, to take care of the land, be servants and good stewards of the things that we're given, and hopefully leave a better product than, than it was when we found it. I get to work with, uh, with God's nature, and, and I think that probably is something that many of us farmers feel such a, a joy to do. I always say God, God paints us a beautiful picture every, every evening. I think that, that that just helps farmers, it helps co-ops, it helps everybody when, when we know that we're all working together for the good of, uh, for the good of all of us, but it's, it's the good of, of something bigger than just us individually. If the co-op is not helping its patrons, there's no need for the co-op to exist.